Hello viewers, welcome back to studies. Before we start, let me tell you this. This particular video is going to be short and crisp because we have dealt in detail the definitions of financial accounting and cost accounting in our previous videos. Please don't forget to check those videos. Once you watch those videos, please come back to this so that it becomes much more easier for you to grasp the differences between financial accounting and cost accounting. Now, financial accounting aims at safeguarding the interests of the stakeholders by providing suitable information. Stakeholders can be inside stakeholders as well as outside stakeholders. Uh, we are looking into stakeholders in the sense uh, it can be useful for uh, the employees of the company, for the management of the company, for the uh, government officials, for the government departments, for uh, um, the general public for the shareholders, for the debenture holders, for the financial institutions which has provided loan to the business, uh, it can be for the banks as well. So all these are the stakeholders of the business and financial accounting is helpful uh, for the stakeholders. The main aim is to safeguard the interests of, of the stakeholders. Now why interests of the stakeholders? Because through financial accounting you get to know whether the business has earned sufficient profits or losses in a particular financial year. When it comes to cost accounting, no doubt cost accounting also provides information and the information that is provided by cost accounting is specifically to the management, that is the internal stakeholders for, the, uh, for, for proper planning, for uh, the operations of the business, for controlling and for decision making. So cost accounting is inward focused wherein it provides information to the management so that the management can take appropriate and timely decisions. So that's one of the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting. The financial accounts are maintained to meet the requirements of the Companies Act, Income Tax Act and other statutes. So financial accounting is compulsory for the business to maintain, to be maintained as per these acts. Whereas in case of cost accounting, uh, generally it is voluntary. That is the business can decide whether it can go ahead and maintain the cost accounts or it can uh, skip this process of preparing the cost accounts. Okay. But these days, the Companies Act has made it obligatory to keep the cost records in some of the manufacturing industries. So for uh, other industries, definitely it is voluntary. But for manufacturing industries, as per the Companies Act, it is compulsory to uh, maintain the cost records. Moving on, the focus of the financial accounting is to measure the financial performance of the business as a whole. Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, whatever financial accounts you prepare at the end of the financial year, definitely it gives you the standing of the business when it comes to the assets and liabilities it holds, as well as it provides you a sufficient information as to whether the operations done by the business in that financial year was profitable or not. But when it comes to cost accounting, the emphasis is to ascertain the cost, control the cost, and analyze the cost for decision making. As I told you, it is specifically prepared for providing information to the management as such the main focus of cost accounting revolves around cost itself and uh, when it comes to cost ascertaining the cost how much the costs have been incurred in case if there is any deviation uh, then the business has to control the cost and analyze the cost for taking you know further decisions when it comes to financial accounting it discloses the net profit and loss of the business as a whole whereas in case of cost accounts it discloses profits or loss of each product or job or service. Cost accounts disclose profit or loss for each product that is manufactured or for each job that is being undertaken or for a particular service that has been provided, whereas financial accounting looks into the whole picture uh, in totality okay, and uh, finds out whether the business has incurred profits or whether the business has suffered losses. The next difference between financial accounting and cost accounting is Financial accounting provides operating results and financial position. Operating results in the form of profit and loss account, wherein you get to know whether the business has earned profits or losses for a financial year, whereas financial position is depicted by the balance sheet, which is prepared at the end of the financial year. When it comes to cost accounting, it gives information on the cost through the cost reports to the management as and when desired. So at the end of the day, cost accounting uh, is prepared as per the requirements of the management. As I told you, it is not mandatory for the business houses to maintain the cost accounting. And as and when management uh, feels that it requires, I mean, it requires cost accounting information to take decisions. That is when cost cost uh, you know cost uh, reports are prepared. 
financial accounts deal mainly with actual facts and figures okay whereas in case of cost accounts it deals partly with facts and figures and partly with estimations so when it comes to financial accounts it is post mortem the transactions are already incurred and based on these business transactions the business finds out whether the profits uh, have been incurred or whether losses have been uh, made by the business whereas in case of cost accounting it deals completely with facts and figures as well as it also goes one uh, step ahead and uses this present cost data or the past cost data or a combination of it past and present cost data uh, in order to estimate the future costs so cost accounting deals uh, not only with facts and figures but also with estimates financial accounting focuses on the ascertainment and exhibition of profits earned or losses incurred in the business whereas the focus of cost accounting is more on the aspects of planning and control you use the cost data so as to plan the activities of the business and uh, in case if there is any deviations from the standards prescribed try and control those uh, deviations that's the uh, role of cost accounting the financial accounting is concerned with historical records whereas cost accounting is concerned not only with historical cost but also with predetermined cost predetermined cost is uh, nothing but the estimation so in this year you make estimations for the next year let us say in 2021 you made the estimations for 2021 22 as such when you get into the year 2021 22 uh, uh, the cost accounting deals not only with the historical cost but also this Uh, estimations which the business has made and this estimations that has been made will be kept as the base and decisions appropriate decisions are taken whereas in case of financial accounting it just provides information which has already happened okay as such it is historical in nature financial accounts are concerned with external transactions uh, which forms the basis of payment of cash as well as receipt of cash so whenever business transactions happen at the end of the day we have already uh seen uh, during the time of explanation of the definitions that financial accounting per se includes only those business transactions which can be monetized which which you can uh, you know uh, put up in monetary terms as such financial accounts deals with all those transactions wherein either you make a payment in terms of cash or you have uh, you no know, cash coming into the business whereas in case of cost accounts it is concerned with internal transactions uh, which do not form the basis of payment or receipt of cash so cost accounting is internal accounting as such uh, there is no requirement uh, for keeping track of these records in terms of whether cash has been paid or cash has uh, has been received by the department or by the business house when it comes to financial accounting costs are reported in aggregate in financial account so in totality uh, the uh figures are being reported in financial accounts take for example salaries you do not write individually salaries for uh, production department or pro, uh, salaries for uh, uh marketing department or uh, salary for uh, purchasing department etc or in you know, a salary that is given to the management each of these items are projected in the profit on uh, profit and loss account as aggregate okay aggregate means in totality how much is the money that has been spent on this particular item called as salary in case of cost accounting costs are broken into unit basis in cost account so per unit what will be the cost that is what is the cost that is being incurred okay so that's the focus of cost accounting cost accounting talks per unit basis whereas in case of financial accounting we look into uh, the costs uh, on an aggregate basis in totality financial reports uh, that is profit and loss account and balance sheet that is prepared at the end of the financial year definitely has a particular period to be taken into consideration that is one financial year whereas in case of cost accounting the cost reporting is a continuous process and as as such it may be uh, you know prepared daily weekly or monthly as and when the management asks for it okay so that's one of the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting when it comes to financial accounting definitely uh, it follows the double entry accounting system okay whereas in case of cost accounting the system that is useful to the management is applied there is no hard and fast rule that the cost accounting has to be maintained in this particular format only it's prepared as per the requirements of the management in case of financial accounting definitely it has to be uh, done as per double entry system and i hope you know what double entry system is where each of the business transaction has got two sides to it uh, the debit side as well as the credit side 
when it comes to financial accounting it adheres to the generally accepted accounting uh, principles whereas in case of cost accounting it adheres to the costing concepts and principles so we have uh, in the gap that is being uh, taken into consideration when preparing the financial uh, accounts whereas in case of cost accounts uh, the the business will have to you know prepare the cost accounting as per the costing concepts and uh, principles when it comes to financial accounting it makes use of historical quantitative monetary and objective data whereas in case of cost accounting uh, it uses descriptive statistical and subjective data now why subjective because at the end of the day uh, we also as i told you in the previous uh, you know discussion that cost accounting also focuses on estimating Okay. so estimates uh, are prepared when it comes to cost accounting as such it can be subjective data it can be descriptive or it can be in the form of statistical data as well whereas financial accounting has its focus uh, which is uh, a monetary quantitative definitely it has to be historical and it's the objective data so objective data is used in case of financial accounting what is that that is considered okay definitely there is no question of estimations in financial accounting the financial accounting does not lay emphasis on control because at the end of the day uh, the main focus of uh, financial accounting is just to report so that's that's the main focus of financial accounting reporting to the uh, stakeholders as to how the year has been uh, in terms of uh, the operations of the business whether it was profitable or whether uh, there were losses cost accounting provides a detailed system of control uh, for materials labor and overheads now overheads are nothing but indirect expenses okay so the focus of cost accounting is to provide a, a control system control mechanism for controlling materials and labor and as well as uh, indirect expenses moving on to the next difference when it comes to financial accounting the measurement is monetary unit whereas in case of cost accounting the measurement uh, can either be in terms of monetary unit or it can be physical unit so cost accounting can be prepared either in rupee terms or it can be uh, prepared in physical units number of units produced whereas in case of financial accounting it is only in rupee terms now specifically when we talk in terms of stock or inventory in financial accounting records the stocks are valued at either cost price or market price whichever is less is taken into consideration because at the end of the day we need to find out whether the business we need to find out the actual uh, profits or losses the business has earned okay as such stocks are valued either at cost price or at market price whichever is less so when it comes to cost accounting there is no uh, choice as such the stocks are always valued at cost and the last difference between financial accounting and cost accounting is that financial accounts fail to provide information on the relative efficiencies of workers plants and machineries because financial accounts uh, as we already discussed the main uh, uh, the main unit that is being considered is only uh, rupee terms okay you only look into monetary transactions as such relative efficiencies of workers plants and machineries are not dissected whereas in case of cost accounting the cost accounts provide valuable information on the relative efficiencies of labor plant and machinery now this is because uh, cost accounts can be prepared not just in terms of uh, money wise monetary terms it can also be prepared um, in terms of physical units so efficiencies of the labor plant and machinery can be gauged when it comes to cost accounting but it it is not so in the case of financial accounting because it is purely monetary transactions that makes its way into financial uh, accounts um that's all in this particular video students hope you have understood the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting we'll see you all in our next video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um please do share with your uh, friends as well hope you all had a pleasant learning experience thank you